Hello YouTube, welcome back, this is Guy, and um, today we're going to do a little uh, review on an item that got sent, well, quote unquote sent, I got a code for it, and I only have to pay taxes, which sucks, but here it is, it's the, ooh. it's the Q- barbecue mat, copper grill mat set of two, which I already had opened it, so sorry about that, you can see it in the videos coming up next, um, it said it's non-stick, and you can use it for a grill. Kind of iffy about that. So it does say if on the picture popping up right now, um, it's FDA approved, F PFOA free, reusable, and easy to clean. Or some gas, charcoal, and electric grills. Grills. Now I try this, like I said, on my uh, um, gas stove, and I'm actually surprised by the. By the results of the mat itself, um, dimension on dimensions on there are actually correct. They're pretty, they're pretty long. The sheets, I'll tell you that for sure. Here's a piece of them. I had to cut them because I may have screwed up due to a uh, uh, past recording of this review crashed, didn't work, wrong format, FLV, forget it. Um, so I had done that, and then I had ended up cutting it. And I was like, oh, this is not a copper. It's not going to work. But I was mistaken. Um, so before you guys see the videos, on the package itself, it says, before use, wash with warm, soapy water and dry thoroughly, safe packaging for storage and safe keeping. I did one of those. I didn't do the other one. Oops. All right, here he goes. Cooking. Preheat grill to desired temperature. Done. Place mats on flat on grill grate and then place food on top. Again, in the video. Do you do use medium or low heat? Do use wood, plastic, or silicone utensil. I'm pretty sure I thought it said do not use. Never mind. Do remove mat from grill when cooking is complete. Do not use at temperatures above five hundred Fahrenheit, two hundred sixty Celsius. Prolonged high heat or direct flame may damage mat. Do not cut food or use shop objects on mat, which I oop, I had not read that until I did this. So, yeah. I don't think it's a good idea to use one of these bad boys here. Smith & Wesson knife. Oh, one of these guys here. That happens. Uh, let's see anything else here. No. Okay. Well... Out to the video we go. All right, guys. Um, here's the aluminum sheet. Obviously, I wanted to do it outside, but you know it's not gonna work. But just to say, this is a gas stove, so it still produces the same amount of fire that you would get over there. Obviously, control. You know what I mean. Either way, I'm gonna try cooking a bit of leftover food from before onto here and see how that works. All right, be right back. Okay, I just turned it on right now. It does a little weird shape when the fire's on there. Let's see if I, what happens when I increase the heat. So far nothing, hello. Oh, you can see it better on the camera than once you can see where I see it. Looks like there's like ish spots right there. I see, oh God, it's smoking. It looks like it's handling it so far. All right, be right back. Okay, we're back. I just put some of the uh, frozen pork on there, and it actually looks like it's cooking. Is this hot? A little bit, but it actually like feels like you're cooking something there. It doesn't feel effective though. Feels like I would actually need more power than this. But it is cooking. I mean, like, 10 out of 10, it is cooking. Like, let's see if I can get a piece here. Hook up nice, nice and warm. Just a little piece. Okay. Disclaimer, all these were completely frozen. They were completely frozen, like, look at that. And this was extremely tender yesterday. Now, we're over here, and there it is again. Look at that actually cooked question is would it actually burn it afterwards 
and then another um, addition to this there's only very little heat that's actually here and you thought the fire is like right between this sheet oh now it's hot but yeah there's so little heat on here let me actually get the fork now so I don't burn myself right here All right, so a problem I just found out when doing this is that, and this obviously you're doing it outside and not in here like I am, like an idiot. Um, oh no, I thought there was something there. Um, the liquids, right there, the juice, there's a possible chance that it might squirm off the side and get the whole thing messy. But if you're looking for an easy um, method to, I guess, clean, cook inside and not have to clean anything, too much afterwards I guess is it you know be done with it grab a tray put it on the tray and then there you go there's your little plate yeah this is actually cooking very very well more than I expected better better than I expected actually so let's see what we got here oh shit that's hot and delicious as fuck mmm all right, I'll resume this clip as soon as this all is done and I get some more food cooked for the family. And we'll see how well it cleans. Okay, we're back. Um, I just remembered that I forgot to show you guys the video for cleaning it. Um, but I can pretty much tell you how it worked. Um, I ended up using the uh, shorter one that I had ended up having. It's like four times the size for uh, some tortillas also. And sad thing on that one it actually did burn a bit like it went black probably most likely because um we had it like on from one through six six being the highest of heat that we can use on our stove um we left it on a on a five four five between there so i'm guessing that was enough heat to be able to burn it now to the big map that we had the complete one that i didn't cut like an idiot um that one is completely fine I washed it off it's completely fine there's a few marks on there obviously from cooking my guess is that if you haven't done cooked food and you did raw food on an actual grill you're gonna get more black marks on them which cannot be washed off unless you scrub really hard which again I still do say these are not copper these feel a lot like cloth but it's it cooked I mean like I'm surprised so I'm just gonna have to go with the package and say it's copper so if you guys like this review, comment, like, subscribe, I don't know. I'm trying to get more of these reviews done in my life. It was actually pretty fun to do too, though. I got surprised halfway through it each time. So, yeah. Bye bye. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Leo. Still not copper.